Mem, mem, mem. The political climate in this country is worth buying a popcorn machine for. Never before have I experienced such mayhem in Namibia's political landscape, and it is as exciting as it is scary. The most contentious issue on the minds of Namibians recently have been not only the blatant display of a lack of honour amongst our honourables, but also the fall of good governance and a lack of adherence to the very protocols we have adopted as part of our so-called democracy. I asked the Electoral Commission's Theo Muyoro to explain just what transpired when those EVMs that Justice Minister Saki Shangala was quoted as having said fell off a trailer recently made newspaper headlines were discovered. Clearly, there was a breach in terms of the security protocols. First of all, as the Electoral Commission, we were not supposed to allow an external entity to transport such sensitive electoral equipment. And I mean, we are not even hiding this. We were not supposed to do that, but it happened. It's water under the bridge, okay? The normal practice was supposed to be when you loan equipment on the request of any political party or any entity, is that you provide the transport. Secondly, you assign a staff or two staff members of the ECN to take custody of this equipment, transport them to the final destination, and basically this would be the only people who will be allowed to operate this equipment. In this particular case, it was very unfortunate. The ECN uh, did not comply with its standard operating procedures. But similarly, clearly there was also negligence on the part of the Swabo Party's Elders Council to collect this material, this equipment, and to transport them in the manner that they did. I can confirm to you that this equipment were, were loaded on a trailer, okay? So, I mean, uh, 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 that is clearly negligence. You don't do that. But again, this has happened. I can tell you also that uh, it is true that one of these EVMs were picked by a member of the public, uh, not too far from uh, Chihuahua. This member of the public handed in this equipment at the police station in Oshuarongo. The police received this EVM. It was processed. I am sure it must have been recorded in the, some occurrence book or whatever the, the systems are. Secondly, I can also tell you that the two staff members who were assigned by the Swapo party to collect and transport this equipment to Utapi in Omusati region did go to the police after this incident and they made statements under oath describing what transpired, what happened, and how these things got lost. Thirdly, the former director of the, of the Electoral Commission, Chief Electoral Officer, Professor Isaac, was in contact with senior members of the Namibian police, informing them about what happened, what transpired, and the fact that some EVM units were still missing. Okay? But it is clear, after all of this happened, that no criminal case was actually opened.